What's up guys, my name is Cody, I want to welcome you to this video. We're going to be talking about a live lab session in today's video, so this video is going to be super in-depth. I think it's going to help you a lot, it's probably going to help me a lot too as we dive into the lab together, and we're going to see what we can learn about a couple of different defenses that I've been testing out um, in Madden 21. We're going to talk a little bit about on the offensive side, how to lab beaters for it, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, defensive uh, philosophy as well in terms of how to run it and what you need to know. So I'm really, really excited for this. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, yet my goal here on YouTube is very simple all we're trying to do is we're trying to take steps each day to become a better Madden player we do that through posting eight videos a day here on YouTube so if you want to get access to those videos make sure that you subscribe uh, that way you don't miss one of them also one of the things that we're trying to do is we're trying to give you guys as much access as possible that's why we started the text message membership but I just released a really 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 good breakdown in bet in the text membership this week out of bunch tight end really excited to dive into that a little bit with you guys a little bit more in depth so if you want to get that for free, um, just text me. I also have schemes in there every week. They get, you get a new scheme every week. It's completely free to you. All you got to do is text me. My number is in the top left-hand uh, corner there, and it's also in the description. Okay, guys, so I wanted to do a little bit of a... A little bit of a different type of video. I've been practicing a lot um, and just kind of labbing some of with the new pads and some of the way the new the new defenses work. Um, been testing out some match coverage, and so I wanted to kind of do a, a video on that. And I wanted to talk in particularly about two or three specific coverages that I think um, could be very very good against the meta. Right? What is the meta? Well, the meta is what most people run in Madden. It's the most effective tactics available. Right? So it is all about trips tight end, gun bunch, things like that. And so we're going to be labbing today a little bit and sharing with you some of those insights. So um, first and foremost, I've got the Raiders book booted up here. It's got all of the meta stuff in it. Um, it's got gun bunch. It's got uh, Z spot. It's got bunch trail. It's got uh, flood. And then it's also got bench pivot. Like, I mean, what more could you really want right now, you know, at this point in the season? It also has bunch tight end. And bunch tight end, it has some really, really good plays from that as well. Um, as you can see here, we have inside switch, curl flat corner, PA boot over, and then we're going to throw stick in there. And then the other thing that it has is it has a really, really good trips tight end. So we're going to throw some of the meta plays in there as well. And we're going to kind of base out of trips tight end today. And we're going to talk through, again, kind of some of the little strategies that you can use and employ to stop it. It also has a really, really good... Um a really really good tight doubles the Raiders book is super underrated as a passing book most people know it as a running book it's actually a really really good passing playbook as well so anyways uh, we're gonna put Devonte Adams in the slot here and then we're just gonna do some testing of different routes and things like that for how uh, this match coverage will play and hopefully you'll get a lot out of this this is a little bit about uh, defensive it's more of a defensive session so uh, first and foremost I want to show you coaching adjustments want to walk through this with you just a little bit auto flip we're gonna leave that on auto alignment we're gonna basically do leave that to default um, and then you'll see ball near defense we're gonna put that to play uh, ball quarterback matchups you can do different things with this if you wanted to match it up by speed uh it says your fastest cornerback will match up versus the fastest receiver you can do all these different things i like to leave it on balance personally option defense we're going to leave this on conservative and then this is really really important so if you take a look here um this is an interesting 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 um phrase that it has right here for us it says that during pre-play return zone drops to default by using the reset play audible or the sticks coverage adjustment okay so that's something that we're going to test out and see if that actually works or not um, but basically what it means is if we are in a uh, no huddle situation we can basically reset these to default depth if we hit reset the only problem is from my hypothesis is it's still not going to work for match coverage okay so we're going to be running some match coverage today, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be audibling into the match coverage from the nickel 335 normal. And the reason why I like to do that is because it gives us the opportunity to put the best personnel possible on the field, always have good corners, good safeties, and good coverage. And we're going to be going over a couple of different match coverage defenses. The first one we're going to be going over is the cover or uh, the cover four quarters. 
The second one we're going to be going over, if we have time, is the cover six. And the third one we're going to be going over is the cover four palms um, and cover nine show two. So those four coverages are the ones that I want to test out. This might be a, a multifaceted video, but we're going to dive in depth here today. And we're going to start with cover four quarters and kind of learn a little bit about how does this actually play and, and what we can learn from this. So we know that as a general rule, most people are going to want to run their trips to the wide side of the field. And what I'm going to do is just basically try out a couple of the most popular um, setups out of this right here. So uh, first and foremost, one of my automatic like automatic little things here is we're just going to test it out without using anybody. Okay, we're just going to test out the coverage. And the play that we're going to start with is everyone's favorite, curl flat. And we're just going to basically take a sack and then go through and see you know who's open and why. Okay, so if we pause the game... What we're going to notice here is we're going to be able to learn a lot about this coverage. We're going to go into instant replay and take a look here. And what you'll see is in this play, you see it actually does a pretty good job on the left side. It does a good job on the running back. Now, again, we want to know what the assignments are. So the quarter flat on the left is going to take that flat zone. The outside quarter on the far left is going to take the curl flat. The safety on the left side, if you notice, he doesn't cover anybody. Okay, He doesn't do anything at all. The three red hook instead of covering the post all the way you see that he's going to change onto that running back right there so that's something another thing that we don't want to have happen and essentially what this is telling me is and also this quarter you see that they double team the tight end up the seam so what that's telling me is we're going to have to use or the uh the, the crossing route in the middle of the field now another thing that we're going to test out here is another popular concept out of the trips tight ends so we're going to audible over to cover four quarters real quick and what we're going to do now is we are going to test out um, this play as if it was ran, you know, essentially like this right here, where we basically take Devontae Adams and we're going to just put him on a drag route or something like that and kind of test this, test this combination here and see how it defends everything. Now, this did a lot better. As you, if we take a look at Insta Replay, you're going to notice, and once again, kind of the thing that you want to anticipate is really your job as the user is to use her over the middle of the field. So we're going to take a look at this again, and now you're going to see here that it does a good job on the corner route. Corner route's pretty much covered. Flat's pretty much covered. Curl's pretty much covered. The drag is not. Um, if you take a look here, this three wreck, instead of going with the drag, you're going to see that he's actually going to play the running back here, I believe. Or no, he does play the drag. Interesting. Okay. So he's going to play the drag, but he doesn't really play the drag. So that's that's unfortunate. But you could probably use her that to kind of help make up for that. Okay? So that's one of the other pop that's another popular setup out of trips tied in. Let's see. Another setup that a lot of people would like to run, uh, I think something that's going to gain some steam here over the course of the next couple months uh, is this double sail setup. And we're going to show you how to do this, but basically what we're going to do is we're essentially going to run a flood concept to the left side um, with this nice corner route flood kind of concept here on the back side here. And really this route to Devontae Adams I think is super hard to guard. We'll see, if this, see how this does against this. And it does pretty good. It does pretty, pretty good. It matches it really, really nicely, and you're able to take that away. Let's jump into instant replay and kind of review what we're seeing here. And again, part of this is just to understand, you know, how does this do against kind of the stuff you already know you're going to face, right? So corner route, and, 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 and really you also want to anticipate, this is something also you have to think about, who are you going to use her on this play, right? You're going to probably use her the middle linebacker. So wherever he's guarding, you know, you know you can, you can take that, uh, you can take care of that by dropping that other linebacker into coverage. So the running back quick flat is open, but he's going to get tackled immediately. Corner's taken care of, corner's taken care of. There's no busted coverage at all, so it looks pretty solid um, across the board. Okay, now let's try another setup. Let's try um, let's try PA counter go. Let's see how this does against a crossing route. So uh, PA counter go is one of the one of the easiest um, plays, really, in my opinion, to to, to really give this um, match coverage and things like that. It, it gives it a hard time, and of course, I didn't. Um, I'm gonna have to redo my motion snap. So we're gonna come back here. And again, if you want to get my full defensive ebook, it's in the description. It's kind of after all of these testing things have been accomplished. But you're going to see how this coverage does work and uh, and really get to learn some about like what you need to know as far as how to deal with it. So uh, let's see how it does against the crosser. And you see here the crosser is wide open. Okay, So crossing route is wide open. The one thing we wanted it to stop, unfortunately it doesn't stop. <laughs> uh, the, the, one, the whole purpose of that defense really, I mean I guess technically it's, it's to take away the 
the corner corner route. But really, what this is really um, showing me is that the everything that you really, I mean, other than the corner route, obviously, everything is still pretty much a problem from trips tight end. Um, you'll see here. I mean, now that's more of what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for right there. So I don't know why they played it differently. I think it has to do with where they motion snapped him. And so that's something that your user is going to have to make up for. So uh, really quick, I'm going to make a couple of adjustments here on this coverage. I'm going to throw this linebacker into a three reg, and then I'm going to take my little my middle linebacker here and just throw him into a deep middle zone. The reason I'm doing that is to kind of imitate what my user is going to be because you always want to try to test that out a little bit. So what you're going to see now is I'm going to snap. And again, most people snap this route right at the numbers here because they want him inside leverage. So we're going to snap right there. And you see that it does play it. Good job. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we want to have happen. So really it comes down to the snapping of that route. So what I bet happens here is if I bring if I bring that slant route all the way to the outside, and this is where, you know, now you have something that you have to you know, really kind of think about a little bit. But if I bring this slant route all the way to the outside, it's going to change how the match coverage works. So you're going to see here, I'm going to bring him all the way outside now. And because he's now on a slant route, that should match coverage. So you see here, he matches all the way across. And as you can see, it's an easy read. Okay. So that's, that's now at least you know what beats what. Right now, now at least you know where you're weak at. Um, another setup we're going to try here is kind of one of the favorite, one of the favorites of the trips tight end users. Um, and it's basically this right here. We'll see how this plays, and it does pretty good. It's okay, that's fine. So it does good against that play. But realistically, what it looks like is happening is the biggest issue you're going to have with trips tight end, in a nutshell, is crossing routes. Um, the the crossing routes are going to be really, really locked down as long as they don't motion anybody. Um, all the way to the outside. Now, if they motion somebody all the way to the outside, the one thing that I wish we could figure out here is how we could basically, if they if they do this motion, effectively what we have to be a, be ready to do, um, and I'm thinking almost something like this right here. Um, I can cross man that linebacker because I come out of three three five normal. I can cross man this linebacker on anybody. So I almost think it might be beneficial to cross man that linebacker onto. Uh, this guy. So maybe do a two-man rush. Obviously, you're going to blitz your user, so technically it's quote-unquote three, right? But now you have a two-man rush, and let's see how that plays. And these are just different adjustments that you can make, and this is kind of how you lab. It's how you learn how to take stuff away. But again, motion them out here, and now it does a pretty good job. It does a pretty good job against the crossing route. We know it's going to stop the corner route on the left side. So now what we're going to try to do is figure out a little bit of a, a beater for this coverage just to kind of see if there's any way that we can, any way that the AI can kind of exploit it. So if we did that setup right there, you know, and it's basically did this right here, essentially. Two-man rush in the middle, and then we have the outside guys in coverage. Now the question is, um, let me give you another example. So if I did something like this, this is a setup that I use at a bunch tight end to beat cover four quarters. Let's see if it beats it from this coverage. And you see it actually defends this pretty good. Okay, so the bunch tight end, this does work, but trips tight end, it doesn't work. So that's something that's important to understand. So this is a little bit about cover four quarters, kind of an introduction to it. As I learn it, you'll learn it. We'll do more videos on this, but this is kind of a beginner series um, trying to teach you a little bit more about cover four quarters. Now, if you want to get the full defensive ebook all finished up and nice and polished, um, that link is in the description. And if you want to get a free sample to that defense, just text me. My number is 812 Two one six three six four four. My number is also in the description. But this is a little bit about again because again, you know, we can talk football theory all we want, and what the reason I want to do this um, video, we can talk football theory all we want, all day long. We can talk about what Nick Saban does. We can talk about what uh, Buddy Ryan does. We can talk. We can talk all day long about what the real people in the NFL do. I'm not as much concerned with that anymore. Obviously, I'm concerned with it a little bit. But what I'm really concerned about, especially on this channel, is to not only learn that stuff, but learn how does this apply to trips tied in? How does this apply to bunch? How does this apply to what people are going to do, right? If you can learn how it applies to real Madden problems that you're going to face, that's where I think you can really become effective. And so uh, obviously you want to understand the principles of the coverage and you want to understand kind of the by the book stuff. 
but really what we're trying to do is take the by the book stuff and make it really applicable to your everyday Madden gameplay. Whenever you go up against somebody that's running bunch and they're running trips and they're running um, a slot or whatever it might be, right? This is going to help you, I think, start to put together how to really build this defense. So thanks for watching this video. I really hope that this was helpful to you and insightful. Hopefully you learned a couple things about what you would do. In summary, I just want to do a quick recap. I 100% believe that nickel normal cover four quarters is much better than big nickel over G cover four quarters. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to put this linebacker into a three rack, and then you're going to use her in the middle of the field. If you see a crossing route, it's yours. If you see a crossing route, it is yours, especially from that left slot there. Okay, So that's kind of the summary statement of the defense. But again, if you want to get the full defensive ebook, it's in the description. And if you want to get the um, – if you want to get – a sample of that ebook, just text me. My number is 812 216 3644. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys uh, in tonight's stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.